The Invisible Boy. Meet Brian, the Invisible Boy. Nobody ever seems to notice him or think to include him in their group, game, or birthday party. Until, that is, a new kid comes to class. When Justin, the new boy, arrives, Brian is the first to make him feel welcome. And when Brian and Justin team up to work on a class project together, Brian finds a way to shine. This book is from the esteemed author and speaker Trudy Ludwig and acclaimed illustrator Patrice Barton. This gentle story shows how small acts of kindness can help others, no matter what their age. Feel included and allow them to flourish and be their very best. I hope you enjoy listening to The Invisible Boy. Can you see Brian, the Invisible Boy? Even Mrs. Carlotti has trouble noticing him in her classroom. She's too busy dealing with Nathan and Sophie. Nathan has problems with what Mrs. Carlotti calls volume control. He uses his outside voice inside too much. And Sophie whines and complains when she doesn't get her way. Nathan and Sophie take up a lot of space. Brian doesn't. When the bell rings for recess, Micah and JT take turns choosing kids for their kickball teams. The best players get picked first. Then the best friends of the best players. Then the friends of the best friends. Only Brian is left, still waiting and hoping. JT glances in Brian's direction and just as quickly looks away. We've got enough players for each team, he tells the others. Let's go play ball. In the cafeteria, Madison and her friends talk about her birthday party. The rope swing over the pool was awesome, says JT. Yeah, so was the water slide, adds Fiona. That was the best pool party ever. I'm so glad you guys had fun, said Madison. Everybody did, except Brian. He wasn't invited. At choosing time, while the other kids play board games and read, Brian sits at his table doing what he loves to do best. He draws fire-breathing dragons scaling tall buildings. Space aliens locked in intergalactic battles. Greedy pirates digging for treasures. And superheroes with power to make friends wherever they go. On Monday morning, Mrs. Carlotti introduces Justin, a new student, to the class. Brian smiles shyly at him. Some of the other kids sneak looks at Justin, trying to figure out if he's cool enough to be their friend. They haven't quite made up their mind yet. At lunch, Madison and JT watch Justin eat with chopsticks. What's that? asks Madison as she points at Justin's food. It's bulgogi. Bull, what? Bulgogi. It's Korean barbecued beef. My grandma made it for me. It's really good. Do you want to try some? There's no way I'd eat boogerji. And all the kids laugh, all of them. That is, except Brian. He sits there wondering which is worse, being laughed at 
or feeling invisible. The next day, when Justin goes to his cubby to put away his backpack, he notices a piece of paper with his name on it. Justin, I thought the Bagoji looked good. Brian. Yum. At morning recess, Brian finds a piece of chalk on the ground and starts drawing away. You're Brian, right? Yeah. Thanks for the note. Hey, Justin! Emilio calls out from the tetherball court. You're up next! Sorry, I gotta go, says Justin. By the way, that's a really cool drawing. He adds before taking off. Back in class, Mrs. Carlotti asks the kids to team up in twos or threes for a special project. The kids scurry around the room to pair off. Brian heads towards Justin. I'm already with Justin, says Emilio. Find someone else. Brian looks at the floor, wishing he could draw a hole right there to swallow him up. Mrs. Carlotti said we can have up to three people in our group. We're only two. Come on, Emilio, let him work with us. Okay, I guess. Mrs. Carlotti gives the class directions for the project. Your assignment is to work together to write a story about what you see in that photograph. Use your imagination and have fun. Whoa, cool, says Emilio. What kind of people do you think live in houses like that? I don't know, but I bet Brian could draw them to go with our story, said Justin. Brian smiles as he takes out his lucky pen. Cricket story we made up on the spot. It's lunchtime again, Brian's least favorite part of the day. Another 20 long minutes of kids talking and laughing with everyone else but him. Brian, he hears someone shout. Hey, Brian, over here. Brian turns and sees Justin waving him over. Emilio nods at Brian and he makes room for him at the table. Cookie? Thanks. Maybe, just maybe, Brian's not so invisible after all. On this page are some really good questions for discussion about the invisible boy. I hope you will pause this video and look at the questions and have a discussion with your friends about what the story really means. One important aspect of our story is the way the illustrator uses color to describe how Brian is feeling at that point in the story. And how does the illustrator show that Brian is invisible at the beginning of the story? And what changes do you see by the end of our story? I hope you enjoyed this book. It's a great book for discussion. And next time you see someone sitting alone, maybe you will think, are they feeling invisible? And how can I help? The end. Hey guys, it's Storytime with Lorelei again. Don't forget to click like if you like this video and share this book with all your friends simply by clicking the share button. Please hit subscribe to see more of my book videos. Thanks everyone. See you next time.